In this video, we will look at the new Trip Planner and Yelp searching features in the latest version of Garmin Basecamp. To get started, we just need to click on the Trip Planner Assistant icon at the top of the application. From here, we can create a new trip or look up a recently created trip. Let's start by creating our start date or departure date. And let's set the return date a few days later. And finally, we can adjust the travel hours from the default 8 to whatever value we want. Now we're ready to set up our starting location and destination location. So let's change the type of routing to driving. And let's say that we're meeting a group of friends to carpool. Let's set up the starting destination at a shopping mall. So let's do a search. On top of your map and collection, Yelp business listings will also appear in the search. And let's set up the destination. In our example, we're heading to a campground. So let's stop at the grocery store at the town before and pick up some supplies. Again, we'll bring up some waypoints. Now this is just picking up data from our map. We click here and we should be able to have our destination waypoint created. Once we're ready, we can click on create trip. Now you want to make sure that you have the appropriate maps already installed in Basecamp to be able to create the routes. From here, you can see our departure and arrival time for both our destination and our return. Now let's fill in the blanks here in our camping trip. So we're gonna click on day two of our trip and we're gonna search for the campground that we'll be staying at. Here we see that Basecamp figured out that our campground is a lodging and wants to know if we want to use this as our base camp location for the remaining days in our trip. Here we're going to say yes. Now in day two, we're going to leave from our campground and go to a trailhead and hike some trails. So let's enter in our trailhead, which happens to be another campground within the same park. So now let's fine tune our day here. So we want to arrive at the trailhead pretty early. So let's go into our destination here, which is our chimney pond. And let's click on the times to bring up our arrival and departure time. So let's say that we want to arrive nice and early, let's say at 645. And uh, we're going to plan on being there for 12 hours, it's quite a long hike. So once we've entered that, now all the times are going to be adjusted and we can see that what time we'll need to leave in the morning and what is our approximate time when we return back to camp. All right, now let's take a look at day three in our trip. We're gonna leave from our campground and we wanna to go to a location where they have facilities and showers. We're at Baxter State Park in Maine, so there's no showers. And uh, let's go to where all the through hikers that hike the Appalachian Trail go. So we can see the Yelp listings here being pulled up. Now we can't create a waypoint in this instance, mainly because probably the location from Yelp isn't on a road to be navigable, but that's okay. We can use the zoom tool and just use the waypoint tool just to create the waypoint. We kind of know where the business is from Yelp. So we're just gonna click here on the waypoint tool, create the waypoint, and we're gonna rename this to our business location that we're gonna visit. And actually the reason why we're going there is they have showers. So let's go and choose the shower icon and there we go, we're good. And again, let's adjust the arrival time and how long we're planning on being there. So let's say we're gonna be there for a couple hours. And now that uh, our return time back to camp has been adjusted. We can also use the slider. We can explore our route and in case we wanna do a stop, hike a trail on the way back, we can also explore things that way. Now that we are done planning our trip, let's click on exit and look at all the waypoints that have been collected for this trip. With our device connected, we can simply transfer all the tracks, routes, and other information to our GPS. And unlike Garmin Adventures, it doesn't package anything up special. Is just do a regular find for your routes and your waypoints. So this is kind of a good way to just package up data that you already have and get on your way.
instance here, I went on the government website, took the latest version of the topo map that is published, downloaded it, took a little slice as a JPEG, went into Google Earth, and made an image overlay, which then